Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to give you guys tips on how to do a photo shoot with a male model. We're going to discuss everything from styling to posing and editing. And I'm going to have two of my friend photographers sharing their tips as well. Anita Sadovska and Mark Klaus are both amazing at what they do and they also have their own YouTube channel so don't forget to check them out. The links will be in the description down below as well as for our amazing model Connor. So let's start with some styling tips. Styling for a male photo shoot has always seemed boring and limited for me so I asked Mark for some tips and tricks on this topic as he styles most of his male photo shoots himself. I uh, really get inspired by like old Hollywood films so that's kind of the inspiration for today. Um, I have these really cool white shoes from Zara and then I just picked up these really cool glasses. I know that they're overused but I think that they could work. I think that they're cool. <laughs> Um, and then I have a few props that we could use and this really rugged uh, leather jacket that I actually thrifted from a thrift store here in LA. So that was cool, it was like $5. Um, and then I just have a variety of different colors and textures. So this one's like a black turtleneck. I really love turtlenecks, like that's my thing. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it. I mean, I have all these and a white turtleneck to finish it off. I really love Quentin Tarantino. He's a movie director that's, uh, he's made Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Killer Bee, I think that's the title of it. Um, but yeah, I really get inspired by that aesthetic. Um, so that's usually where I get my inspiration from. It's a lot of movies, sometimes even music videos and yeah, Instagram, a lot of fashion bloggers. I really love Mark's idea of taking inspiration from old movies. I immediately thought of Clint Eastwood and his Wild West movies and look at how many cool images I was able to find on Pinterest from that. You can also always just go to the classic male icons like James Dean and Marlon Brando. Those will look amazing no matter what the trends are right now. And of course, I always encourage you guys to go out and thrift. I'm sure you will be able to find some really cool vintage pieces at your local thrift shops. A leather jacket, cool rugged boots, hats, accessories, sunglasses. Go ahead and spend a little bit more time on making sure that the wardrobe is actually really cool. All right, tip number two, create a storyline for your model. I think it's really important and I talk about this all the time. Make sure you tell the model who they're playing, what's their role, why are they at this location, why are they dressed a certain way, and it's gonna be a lot easier for the model to perform exactly what you want them to do. So we're gonna start off with the black turtleneck and the brown corduroy pants. Um, and the, the vision for today, uh, what I just told Connor is he's a unstable poet. So you can improv that if you can. Yeah, we got <laughs> And obviously got I'll help you along the way and yeah, we'll make it work. All right, let me see this. Yeah. So one's a book and then one's you're gonna like actually write in so we can actually, Ooh. yeah, capture, I like that idea. capture That's the so cool. movement. I think if I have you start here and you can just pretend like you're a college student, you're walking to a table and you're gonna put your stuff down and just chill for a sec. Today I'm shooting with the Canon 5D Mark IV and then I have the Sigma 85 1.4 lens. So what I would have you do is um, you could separate the two, so, and then we could have this one sort it's of like-, like my notebook, right? So like taking yeah, notes. Yeah, almost like you're taking notes, exactly. And then also for some shots, if you wanna maybe like close the book and then throw this kind of on top of it. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can mix it, mix it up and do whatever you like. Yeah. And I think I like the idea of, of you not looking at the camera, almost like you don't know we're here. All right. I think it adds more to the story. Amazing. Oh, I love that, yeah, that's perfect. And then Connor, if I could have you sit like this towards me, where like your knee is up. Yeah. Perfect. And then I'll have another shot of you sitting on this part of the... So you can sit like this. And just to add a little bit more of a goofy look to it, if you could just cross your knee like that. Or like this, sorry. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more masculine. Sorry, could I have you switch the 
the legs? Yeah, there you go, perfect. Yeah, perfect, I love that. And just to make it a little bit less stiff, if you could arch your back just slightly, yeah. Yeah, like you have bad posture. I think that's a millennial thing. Perfect. Yeah, Connor, that's great. I love those. So I'll have you back to the first pose that we did where you were just sitting at the edge. My next tip is communication. It's super important at any photo shoot, but I feel like especially with the male model. So pay attention to how Mark is engaging with Connor. He's always letting him know if he's doing good, helping him with the posing and never really staying silent. And then for the glasses, could I have you take them off really quick? I think what I'm gonna do is place them like. Just place them there. So another little side tip, I think if you bring props to the to the shoot, I think it helps the model do something with their hands and it makes them feel like they can interact more with the whole setting. So even if it's something small like a book and glasses, that's enough. You don't have to bring like a whole set. You can bring something, you know, tiny, but um, it really helps with poses. So even the pencil too, it gives his hand something to do. <laughs> and it's like a natural thing we all do. We hold the pencil. <laughs> we could even go next to the white tree. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, perfect, Connor. That's great. And I think the tree also helps reflect light into the face. Maybe that's just me, but I think it kind of helps. And what if we put the pencil like in your ear? Yeah, you could just leave it there. And for this one, I'll have you just bring your eyes right towards the lens. Yeah, just like that, perfect. And then you can look off that way, yeah. Perfect, let's get some of you standing. So we'll go over here, just a little bit higher. Um, you could either like lean on it or let me, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Perfect. And I think for these though, I'll, I'll, hold, I'll hold this stuff. We'll, we'll do some without the props. Yeah. If I could have you, maybe your right arm, if you were to sort of lean it on the, yeah, that little stump right there. Yes, perfect. Yeah, there's so many bugs here, right? shooting with the Sony a7R4 and the 24 to 70. That's nice. Yeah, so I think uh, for shots, usually Moody is pretty good for me. I like a lot of character in the face, especially because I feel like it kind of adds, adds a lot to a male model shoot, especially because um, with there is, no, there is no way to pose male and female in a certain way, but there is traditionally certain poses that work better than the others, I guess. Yeah, that's nice. 
So uh, if we just open your legs a tiny bit more, so maybe if you like put them down back. Yeah, perfect. I think it just looks a bit better. Okay, we need to get a bit brighter. Perfect. Yeah, that's nice. A bit more serious, kind of confused, like you're like, oh, what's going on? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. And maybe if you like rest your... Here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe kind of like this, kind of like you're just bored. Yeah. The board look usually looks, just make sure not to squish your cheek because then you're like, yeah, perfect. That's great. Yeah, so if you don't know what to do with your hands, I usually find it's pretty helpful for men to, if you, you don't have any jewelry on you, but usually if you are preparing for a shoot, it's good to maybe bring a watch or some sort of rings or something, because then you can, you know, kind of play around with it. Like if you had a bracelet, you could play around with the bracelet or just like, you know, play around with the rings. You can do what you just did a second ago where you just like looked over your shoulder or just had your arm over your um, over your neck or like, you know, just even playing with the hair. It usually kind of breaks it up a bit. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, and let's get you some standing as well because maybe actually if we get you, if, we, if you come here and we just get you over here and you're just kind of like resting your arms here, that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's lovely. Maybe even if we are, we go up a tiny bit higher so you can just like straighten your arm a bit more. Yeah, perfect. Cool. I don't wanna fight with you. What if you have the other hand in the pocket? Yeah, okay, so the way you have your hand in the pocket is great. Let's go back closer so you can kind of have your arm over kind of over your head. Yeah. Yeah, perfect, love that. Thank you. And maybe if we can have kind of just like, so yeah, yeah, perfect. This next spot was super backlit and it was really dusty, so we decided to go a little bit dramatic here. What if you like run and you just sh like? Yeah, there we go. Almost there. Oh, there we go. Just, you need to be kind of more behind him. No, no, you're fine. You stay where you are. Come closer. So, no, 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 just closer like behind him. So you're, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. No, no, you're fine. Oh, Jesus. This is just like a bomb. <laughs> just went full out. Ooh, that was a good one. Nice. Special effects. Professional. That's professional. Oh my god, I love that. Perfect. What you just did holding your turtleneck? That was amazing. Nice. Yeah, looks tight. Perfect. So here is my turn and I'm using Sony a7 III with the Canon 50mm 1.2 lens and I'm also going to be using the Sony 24-70 2.8. What if um, you can do almost like a little bit of movement with your legs so you can like kind of move around? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, exactly. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Should I say beautiful? I'm so used to shooting like with girls. <laughs> it's like the first thing that comes out of my mouth. Like that looks, okay, I'll, I'll say that looks good.
Another tip I have for you guys is to compliment the model. Let them know that they're doing really good job and trust me, it's gonna boost their confidence and make them work even better. That's awesome. Yeah, Connor's really good, so I don't even have to do much. Just easy, I guess. Tip number one, just find a good model. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's one of my like one of my favorite poses for men, just to do something like a cross with their hand. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like I really like that. Oh really? Yeah, it's the profile. That looks awesome. Can I actually do that again when you were just pulling it over your face a little bit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I always do for all of my shoots, Mark does the same, I saw that. I run around the model a lot just to make sure that I'm getting all of the different possible light situations. And uh, actually now that I went a little bit over here, I'm getting really nice side light and I really, really like the way it looks. I think for male models, it's like one thing is don't be afraid to experiment with lighting. You can go a little bit more harsh. You don't have to go like look for that super soft lighting. Like you can totally shoot something like side lit and it will look still really, really good. I just wish I was like taller. <laughs> Sometimes I'll look for like rocks that I can stand on. Maybe if you get a little bit closer there, we're a little bit more on the same plane and I can just go on my tippy toe. Oh, there you go. Actually, that's perfect because you can stand a little bit lower. Then, yeah. Yes, that's awesome. Don't fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. I love the profile. And let's do some close-up shots too. While I'm zoomed on. Yes, yes, that's perfect. Yeah, for, for close-up shots, it's another thing. I always like to add the hand or something in there. Just looks more interesting. So it's, <laughs> yeah. it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really like that. Like how you do that little, yeah, yeah. That's another thing, like, I think it looks really good when guys like scrunch up their forehead just a little bit, you know, like that confused look. Yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. That's perfect. Eyes and me here again. Oh, that, so you were like this, but just your eyes and me, yeah. That's perfect. That's awesome. And finally, for our last location, we added on the jacket and the hat, and I think this was my favorite look. Cool. That's really nice. Yeah. So just, just kind of hold it, I think, here, because otherwise, yeah. Perfect. Cool, I'm done. This looks really good. Yeah, and like like I was saying, like normally with a female model, I don't think I would shoot this kind of light as much. Anita would, but not for me. But for him, I think it looks really, really nice. Like a super contrasty, nice light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, I like that shadow, but I don't like the way the hat is sitting. Maybe like if you put it more, yeah, maybe like to the side like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. They do very close up with you. What if I get just one eye in the sun? The sun's literally like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. What if you drop this hand, but put the other hand to the head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. This is awesome right there. That's really, really cool. Yeah, let's walk over there real quick, if we can, where the sun is still there. Okay, I think right here is good. Yeah, oh yeah. Let me know if it's too much, like is it really, if it's hurting your eyes? Yeah, that looks cool. I really liked how it was like half, how you had it like halfway 
Yeah, this was like one eye open. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if you, instead of holding it like this, you hold it more like by the hat. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Yeah, I, I really want that, like the sun. Yeah, yeah, right there. The sun, the eye, uh, yeah. That was really cool. There's just some without the hat. Or or just you holding it too. <laughs> oh, I like this. Yeah. That's really good. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, look like the, yeah, like almost angry. Why don't you see your eyes a little bit more? Yes, that's it. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, that's awesome. I really love when you do that with your eyebrow, like one eyebrow up. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, that looks really cool. So do the, I love what you're doing with your face and everything. With the hat, keep it a little bit, yeah. Or maybe just pull it down like completely, yeah. That looks really, really good. I love this pose. Yeah. Perfect, and look at me here, yeah. Okay, so I'm actually gonna get you to kind of blend in with these little strands of bushes. Cause I, I like the color contrast of the, the darker colored dirt, yeah. Irene asked me to repeat what I said, but I will absolutely not do that. <laughs> okay, um, I want one shot where he's sitting in the grass and I want to kind of be above him with the camera. So if you can just like lie back into the grass a tiny bit. Not too much, yeah, you can just, whatever. There's a lot of grass there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah, perfect. That's good. And then maybe just, there we go. Nice. Can we maybe get the shoulder out a tiny bit more so you're kind of like more resting on the shoulder? No, you, so you still you still have it under your head, but just kind of maybe like push yourself out of the grass a tiny bit, if that makes sense. So just push yourself out, just sit up a tiny bit, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Maybe actually if you just hold it here with your hand, just like that, perfect. There we go, yeah. And just chin up, just your shoulders up a tiny bit. Yeah, per exactly, perfect. And then we'll just destroy this little guy here. Sorry. Nature. Another grass. Perfect. Yeah, that's nice. The opposite what if you lean more into me is that possible over here yeah exactly mm -hmm. yeah that was really good mm -hmm. yeah that's awesome that's perfect. and i see me here oh that's awesome right there 
Oh, I love that. I really like that. The only thing with this hand, so I'm shooting kind of like right here. I'm thinking what if you put it? Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. That's really cool. And finally, the editing tip. And I can't believe you're still watching this video. It's been 25 minutes already. But the editing for male models is actually super, super easy. I always keep it very simple. The main thing is to not overdo it with the editing. Take out a few blemishes, but do not smooth out the skin completely. Keep him rugged and keep him looking manly. That's the most important tip in the editing. All right, so we just finished our photo shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out everyone one again the links will be in the description down below and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye